Welcome back, my fellow culture conversion enforcers. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, of course. But we have evacuation plans. The Reich's daddy was impressed. The duo debriefing him on the status of projects Hodminishot and Liftharsir showed no signs of being scared of him. Neither the balding engineer nor the youthful energetic architect. It was a welcome change of pace for the normal sniveling cowardice of the underlings he had been saddled with ever since the old duty, or the old dude, had given him the chance to turn the Oldenstadt into a sword and shield of the big old race. He allowed himself a brief fond remembrance of the days he and Papa Hadrish had stood shoulder to shoulder against the plots of goring, glory days long gone, but then snapped his attention back to the presentation. The engineer had stopped his progress report on the bunker systems, and the architect had stepped forward once again, ordering the S. S. Man, manning the projector to change the slide to one depicting his plans for a project, Lift. Uh, Lift Rassier. Now, Liftarsir, in many ways, presented us with a unique challenge, as my colleague mentioned earlier. While creating atomic proof facilities for an estimated 400,000 people is a challenge, it is within the parameters faced by organization taught during the war, and within a funding doable with, within a four to six year period. Now, the rail network for Project Liftarsir is a whole other matter. Even with 160,000 subjects that are in the process of being resettled in the Alpine region, that leaves us 240,000 subjects, 80,000 of whom are considered critical, primarily looking in Paris, Arlstadt, and Elsass regions. My proposal is as follows. Three four-lane subterranean rail lines encased in reinforced concrete at a depth of 11 meters. Since we only have time for a single departure in the estimated 21 minutes before impact in a surprise attack scenario, I propose using the ex extent Paris Metro as a temporary shelter for non-critical personnel. Paris will have its own exodus through the metro, my friends. And we're still trying to finish up Las Landwirtschafts Amt. Very good. Now, we don't have any plan enacted yet. I still... 42 supplies is good, but... I still want to wait a little bit. Actually, we can probably reactivate Global Plan uh, Condor because they haven't fallen apart yet. We could save her PP, but let's see. I want to do some more investigations if possible. Look at this. Increase officer capacity. Sure, that'd be very nice. We have 26. Search suspicion, suspicion, suspicion. Uh, uh, I guess we can just because we need to research more into these guys since we need to find out the lion's den and do stuff with them. So we have a lot to do, but right now we have a little bit of a uh, famine that could occur, which is obviously not very good, but sabotage on the sign. The mechanical breakdowns and industrial berserk Rodomo have unfortunately persisted and some are worse than ever. An ammo depot had to be evacuated last week when an electrical fire broke out near the power storage, but it was thankfully contained in time before the entire depot was incinerated. These incidents have unfortunately become a semi-frequent occurrence. But what if they are more than just incidents? It does not take a genius to suspect sabotage in a place where many rebellious untermenschen are pressed into service. Rumors of a resistance movement are swirling among guards and more disturbingly among the workers. If there are any saboteurs among them, the belief that there is an outside group that will aid them may cause them to become even more brazen in their nefarious deeds, local police chiefs. I've already put up put in requests for more men, unless the situation continues to escalate. Alright, we'll go need more guards in Rodomo. And the clanking gears and empty fields, in which we've also gone ahead and started upgrading everything here, so level four. Four six six six, which is pretty nice. Level twenty two. The old Schnatt rises. Every day our cities and towns are filled with more smokestacks, more factories, more hapless untermensch trudging miserably to the duty to, to to do their duty to the state and the area. Where once their labor was wasted on trivial pursuits such as degenerate agriculture and inefficient little workshops, they now serve in great and mighty industrial foundries, hoping to produce the weapons and supplies that allow the SS to achieve the vision of our glorious Rexfear SS. Of course, the mass force shift from an agriculture to an industrial economy is not without minor and temporary setbacks. The sudden transition in labor allocation has resulted in a collapse in agricultural yields, and similarly, a rapid depletion of food supplies. Especially thanks to the high standards at which the Burgundian way requires the Untermensch to produce there is little hope of sustaining your population's caloric needs indefinitely. Sacrifices will have to be made, naturally among our less essential populations, but even perhaps among some of our less pure areas as well. <clears throat> We will thus begin drawing up plans to liquidate underperforming workers at the discretion of local commissars. However, the number of subhumans we have to sacrifice for our goals is, of course, a non-issue. We are merely concerned with fulfilling our needs of supply and demand. The state cannot fall. Now, I really want to do these. A temporary solution versus uh, the only way forward. Also, I dropped something on the floor, but whatever. Um, I think I want to do the only way forward, so we can raise our loyalty later on, and we can raise it up through mass deportations and stuff. I want to finish this badly, but we have got to wait, because right now we have to deal with the famine, so 
Let's do emergency stock measures. Every able man is important to the Oldenstadt, yet some are more important than others. Oh, yes. Senior officials, members of critical response groups, and key state apparatus, and other such individuals instrumental to the plan of Reichswehr SS, must be preserved as such. With a troubling famine looming closer upon the horizon with each passing day, we must take action to ensure that the resources are available to keep these personnel well fed. This will inevitably require the requisition of food allocations from those less deserving who will face a reckoning in the coming struggles. Expand our food stores by ensuring the unworthy never receive that which they have not earned. Develop new fertilizers will be good. A specialized assistance would be good as well. So, so be it. It is what it is. It has to be what it has to be. Hey, make some mass arrests. A successful investigation? Very good. And I do have a cup of coffee here, which is still quite hot. Uh oh, boy. <clears throat> 7 out of 40 progress. Oh, boy. Our food balance is really bad. Wow. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure who we wanted to do this. I, is it bad to do any of this? So, I'm going to go and just do the Himmler one first. Uh, we trust Langemach. I'm not sure if I trust these guys, but we'll do it anyways, I guess. Just go and throw them all in if you want. We want a lot of bunkers. Loads of bunkers. This is not good. This is really not good. Holy crap. But loyalty, let's see. We can blackmail people. Obedience, still. We have no extra... Skilled workers here. Things are probably looking pretty darn good around here anyway, so. And, so, with all this going on, like, I don't really want to do a global plan when we're basically starving, or potentially have the potential to starve. In the past, few things were as more dangerous to a civilization than over farming. They exploited the land to a point where they would make crops impossible to grow, and they would wither away and fade into history like the dying plants in the fields. Thankfully, due to the advances in the agricultural sciences, fertilizers allow farmers to restore the soil's nutrients and keep growing the same crops year after year. If the order strategy to survive and thrive, we must exploit this to its fullest extent. Very good. Very, very, very good. Uh, actually, let's get some more gun stuff first. Better guns, advanced infantry rifles. Even though, that actually would not be very good since we need to make as many as we can and that'll hurt our production, but whatever. It is what it is. Hey, below 4 billion. Still trying to build some more civvies. Not bad, 2027. Not bad. Emergency stockpile measures. More monthly food. Thank you very much. We could activate things, but I don't know. Just. I don't think it's just really worth it right now. We get only 0.81 every single day. We don't need this stuff. We don't need this stuff. We don't need this stuff. We don't need this stuff either. Make more mass arrests? Why not? Steel. Ooh. Steel civilian food stores. Uh, population growth will fall. Less stability. Grow food stores by 2,000. Eh, why not? Specialized assistance. Nowhere in the world have the fires of industry burned so hot as in the Oldenstadt. Momentous strides have been taken by the administration of the Reichsführer SS and by the Aryan people to transform the Oldenstadt into the workshop of the world. With such a surge in industrial prowess has come the development of a large population of industrial specialists and logistical experts. While their skills are most suited to industrial production, they may yet be rather effective in agricultural planning. As such, plans shall be drawn up to reorient German specialists to fine-tune their fields rather than the forges, should the need soon arise. Will hurt our societal foundations to help modernize our agricultural methods. That's not bad. That could be, well, could be a lot better, but could be a lot worse. Hopefully, we can build more civilians. At least, hopefully, we can keep at least twenty out of twenty-two fully functioning uh, slots to build, 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 build. Anything else here? Yes. What's the max level for this? Oh, look, you get more loyalty and less consumer goods and more stability. Look at that. Um, just keep throwing guys in there then. Cool. That's not bad. Make oh, move around SS officers. That'd be kind of a waste. Um, and we do have some comments to go through, but we'll get to them in just a little bit. <clears throat> All right, it is April, and Industry Bauernhof Project. They will reverse course and start tearing down brutal cities in several select states. Food production in those states will no longer be penalized, but will lose all the benefits granted by the cities. As industry was greatly expanded, this necessitates the centralization of the population into tight-knit urban centers so that men could work the newly built boundaries and factories that dot the land. An ambitious urbanization effort was undertaken by the Odenstadt, with many being incentivized or coerced into flocking to the cities. However, while the city may provide impressive outputs insofar as weaponry or industrial goods are concerned, it provides not in terms of food, acting as a drain into which the Odenstadt's food stores are offloaded. As such, we are now faced with a difficult decision to roll back such initiatives, for the labors are needed in the fields now more than ever, and they are needed with due haste. We will do whatever we can to drive the people back into the fields for now, even though we must demolish entire city blocks to achieve this. You must do sometimes things that you do not want to do. It is quite unfortunate. 
There you go. Nice. Anything else? No. We're still looking pretty good around here. Oh, actually, that's not look looking good. Hmm. Uh, there's maximum infrastructure. There you go. Take me. Give it to those guys. Um. Okay. Good to know. Let's see. Anything else? Yeah, you guys could use a few more guys there. Uh, we have no more guys though. Oh, that's maxed out, huh? 155? Wow, that sucks. Alright, just give me your guys then. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta do this really quickly. Anything else around here? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's really bad. We could do that, but... Wow, 98? What happened here? Holy crap. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we really lost a lot of guys then. There you go. Building structures. Well, I'm glad I looked in some of these places, because some of them are really, really bad. Even though some of these places... Oh, wow. You definitely need all the guys you can get here. I'm glad I looked, because I was kind of ignoring this. Because we lost a lot of police officers. we got to investigate more, 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 more. But we got to get through this famine first. Oh, we got 180? Nice. That's not, that's not too bad, actually. There you go. Uh, 13? It's, that's okay. At 300, uh, just to put them there. There you go. <clears throat> okay, so if we have to do that, so be it. That's fine with me. I don't really care too much. And food for those who matter. Huh. Worker pops would consume less. I kind of want to do this one. Food consumption will go down. Loyalty to the SS goes down. Increase agricultural output at the cost of reduced loyalty. Monthly food production or food for factories. Scraps for the workers. A simple ration. Industrial aids, which sounds really like a meme. To divert production from industry berserk, Rodomo towards increasing agricultural output. Expense. Fields of grain. Construct new industrial farms and in I mean, We're going to get removed anyways. Food for those who matter. Food for factories. Ooh. Industries to survive and degrade our surveillance networks. Or... Make it, we can maintain a grip over the people, also degrade our industrial capacity. Bread for the soldiers, food for the factories. I don't know which one to do. I think I'll just go with this one just because I want to build more farms. So, it matters not if our leaders have enough to eat if their entire industrial base collapses from star starvation. We must make it our most utmost priority to make sure that the workers at our most vital factories have properly fed in order to maintain production levels. With reason, within reason, of course. We don't want to give a Belgian slave in a camp, the factory, the same quality of life as a German foreman or engineer. That would be madness. Absolute madness. Anything else? Make some more mass arrests. Oh, sell off our wealth? Monthly agricultural gain will increase. That's fine. Conscript new farmers? Oh, industrial expertise will go down? That's fine. I don't really care about industrial expertise. What's the, like, what's the highest level we can hit with this stuff? Because right now I'm just clicking buttons. So, we need more guns. Crap. We need more guns. That's actually really not good. Uh, there you go. I have some more guns. 20, 20... Eight, not bad. Pretty good, I'd say. Pretty darn good. A lot of the research doesn't even matter, though. So, food for the factories, or for food, who's matter? Oh, I get more war support. Actually, we could use more war support too. The last of life, food consumption go down. Loyalty. I don't want loyalty to go down, though. So, there you go. Food for factories. Let's see. Arm the bunkers. Oh, we can supply the bunkers with food. Oh. One piece of supplies? Uh, if it's supplies, it's fine then. Whatever. 24 is not bad. Oh, 67 political power. Anything else here different? Not really. Blackmail people. Have increased officer capacity. Yeah, that actually be probably pretty good. We have 200 here. Um, oh, there you go. That's how you deal with it. Anything else? Oh my goodness. Paris is looking really bad. Just take everything they got. There you go. There you go. You can be stocked with pretty much everyone there. Look at that. That's so nice. Over here is pretty good. Over here is pretty good. Over. Oh my goodness. That is so bad. Actually, can we do that again and just do that? No. Okay. Give me him back. That might be a bit extreme. Um, or by one just in case. Yeah. 
Anything there? No, no, that sucks. Ah, give me one just in case for the next month. That's fine. Shove them all in here. Because that's what we can literally do. We can literally do that many, which is insane. Which is nice. Which I, I do like it. Make some more mass arrests. Managing the famines. But we shall read a simple ration. In times of war, similar to stress, the idea of ration varies between military and civilian life. For the former, they are dictated what meals they can eat and when. For the latter, they are still given plenty of leeway and are only limited in their ingredients. But why must it be this way? Why should the average working man not be given the same guidelines as his comrades in the trench? Would it not serve the Volk if they were given the same kind of nutritious, filling, and easy to produce meals? Yeah, we're going to lose some growth, but hey, it's whatever. But look at that. We're doing actually pretty okay on fuel. We're actually getting 48 every day, so we're slowly increasing it every single day. Ah. Scraps for the workers. The black-suited shock troops of the SS are, of course, Burgundy's most hallowed institution in the first line of defense. But it is the factories and workforce that supports them behind the front lines that too often go unmentioned and uncelebrated. It is here that our meticulous and hawk-eyed commissars watch over the toiling untermensch to make sure that every gun, trigger, bullet, is, and bullet is made to the finest degree possible. Unfortunately, due to our m most uh, recent minor issues in the area of food production, we must not take steps to distribute our remaining supplies in a matter that ensures that attrition among our factory workers does not reach levels of disruptive or levels disrupted through supplies. Thankfully, the most brilliant minds of our, among our Aryan scientists have developed new methods to calculate the exact caloric intake that each individual worker requires. We will thus be able to assure that they receive exactly the minimum to continue working, but no more, so as to maintain the careful balance between short-term success and long-term sustainability. It's time to trim the fat. 11 out of 40 progress towards industrial deterioration, construct new farmers. Oh, current forwards. Oh, food stores are pretty good. We need we need more, uh, wait, can we build food stores? Oh, look at this. Raise brutalist city. Food production is no longer be penalized, but all benefits are, will be lost. Um, you know what? That's not bad. Ooh, we get more money. Um, I built a lot of brutalist cities, man. I'm very efficient. Um, let's do, we do one of these. Uh, actually, we're kind of okay for now. We're, we're, our food stores are pretty good, actually, so. I'm not super worried about it, but I would like to finish this as fast as possible, so. We'll see. Especially considering how, how few officers we actually do have right now, so. Increase our arm sales. I don't want to lose any more guns, really. How many guns are we making a day? Guns, four, 47. Four, oh, that's not bad. 44.7. And I would like to do another plan, but we can't really do it yet. So get us some more supplies. Supplies are still super, super important. Industrial aids. Silos. Yeah, we probably need the silos. The Aryan man may labor tirelessly in his fields, reaping harvest unforeseen in their bounty, yet without the proper facilities to store the fruits of Aryan labor, it would all be for naught. The grain will rot and the German people will go hungry. Such a state of affairs shall not come to pass, as Oldenstadt undertakes a great expansion or grand expansion of the food storage and distribution network. This network shall be centered around the facilities of Industry Berserk Ro Domo, wherein the laborers shall erect large central storage facilities as well as distribution centers in tandem soon. Agricultural yields shall go on or go to waste no longer, as food are distributed among the Ordenstadt in the most timely fashion. And we have 10% or 10 war support, which is not great, but it is what it is. Um, let's just double check things real quick, because we always have to look at things, 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 things. Mass arrests, more national indoctrination, conscript new farmers. Uh, we're still okay, so not too bad. Um, I want it. What is the max level for this? Do, is there a max level? Each level of key element gains is a level for each of the SS Legion bunkers. Reach max level and therefore unable to be upgraded further. I guess we just keep doing this until we can't do it anymore. Uh, you can give them supplies for now. That's fine. Um, construct the bunkers. Construct. Construct. And we could do that, but I want to get more supplies. I mean, supplies, we do need to do some more global plans. So, let's see if we do that. And I will deal with this off screen. All right, everyone. So it's September 17th, 1968, and we're finishing up Industrial Aids. National Daddyists are not Ludites. Although they seek to preserve the physical and moral purity of the Aryan race through millennia, they recognize the value of modern industry and use it to better their environment. Agronomy is certainly no exception to this. The traditional rural life of the future shall not be one with primitive farming implements. Plows and seed drills shall give away to tractors and combines. Additionally, I do want to go through a couple of the comments that I kind of forgot to talk about earlier. Um, you guys told me that there's like leaks and updates for the mod, especially on the Reddit. And don't worry, like, uh, I know. Like, I, I'm on the Reddit way too much. So, I always pop in there to see if there's any new leaks, any updates and stuff like that. But, I'm usually very, very well kept up on what is going on, as well as any future updates for the mod. Additionally, um, 
I can start any global plan whenever I want, and I can end it whenever I want. So we can just start for right now if we wanted to. Actually, we might we might do that, but we don't have enough political power really. And I do want to get through the famine tree here, so that's not good. We only have 37 supplies, which is not bad, but I I really want to get through uh, the famine right now. We're making more mass arrests. We got maxed up food stores, which is not bad. Selling off for wealth would not be bad for more agriculture stuff as well as conscript new farmers, convert factories to farms, um, decrease factory output by 10%. Wow. Yeah, this costs all a lot of stuff. And we've been trying to improve stuff here. And also, this stuff costs supplies, which is another reason why I've not been doing um, a global plan. So this stuff costs supplies. So you can see, supply the uh, bunkers with food. That literally costs one supply. But we're going to continue rushing down the right side of the tree, even though I want to root out bad problems. But we're going to field the grain. In order to feed the people the Oldenstadt, agricultural yields must be increased. Of course, the land we tread upon is fertile and ripe for agricultural purposes. Seizing the potential of our soil, however, will require no small deal of effort to stave off disastrous famine. We should construct large industrial farms, each tuned to reap the greatest outputs from the earth that which it can provide. The resources required for this undertaking shall be great yet necessary. Overgrown fields and untamed meadows shall be sown with grain as the silos of the olden shot was, are made full once more. Such efforts will, in most likely, hood. Slightly slow our efforts at further industrialization, however. A labor can offer no output should he fall dead by famine. And another comment was, uh, we have to rush through this tree. Like, we have to get through this tree. Uh, because there's another part to the street apparently as well, the final measure, so, we'll see what happens, even though I thought this one would not be available, maybe that's a bug, but it says, like, BRG, worker priority flag, so we'll see what happens, but final measures. The Olden Shot has diligently undertaken all possible measures at its disposal to counter or conquer the threat that the famine presents. The loyalty of essential personnel has been secured, and the labor of the Volk intensified and mobilized, and previously untamed fields are now sown with grain. Despite all this, it was inevitable that those weaker and less deserving individuals in our society would perish in these hard times, it's no matter. Their mouths no longer need to be fed, and with this, our food stores shall soon begin to swell once again, with the weakest individual sacrifice so that the Volk may be fed. And with the ingenious preparations orchestrated by the Reichsfeer SS, the famine shall soon be not but a cold memory. Very good, my friends. And see, we can arm the bunkers, which we might as well, because I don't get this to max level. I don't remember what max level is. Um, does this go any higher? We don't. We only have so many guns too, so our PP is nice. Uh, make some more mass arrests. Fields of grain are nice. We could expand the workforce and stuff like that, but we can kind of wait. They're still obedient and loyal. Not super concerned with going on down here, but it's all right. No, let's see. And let's go and do final measures. Alright, anything else that we really care about here? No, I've gotten rid of oh, so many people here. Storm all the way. There you go. Thank you very much. Um, Anything here? No. Oh, yeah, we can take some of you guys out. Cool, not bad. Uh, I can move some of you guys out here, too. Anything here? Take away one. Um, Let's see what else we got. Nope, a bit too many. Just throw in all the guys that we got for this group, that's fine. Can we look by any more? No, we cannot. Well, that sucks. Eh, that's alright, though. Oh, 900. Goodbye, 900, guys. Nice. Keep building them roads up. Refocus the state and increase our arm sales. Yes, please. We're going to lose some guns and infantry equipment, but that's okay because we're making quite a few. And we get some more supplies. We now have 42. Pretty good. The Burgundian Bounty. Glory to the Oldenstadt. As always, the inevitable march of Aryan progress against the degeneracy and cowardice has proven able to overcome all opposition. The agricultural shortfall that threatened to undermine the incredible progress made by our nation has at last been addressed, and soon the famine will be a thing of the past by a combination of brilliant Aryan engineering, the sacrifice and willpower of our brave SS. We have managed to increase crop yields and reduce consumption amongst the Untermensch by amounts significant enough to ensure that although a few more of those among the lesser races may continue to die, even some within our alleged Allied legions in the SS, the threat of food shortages to our power projection and military prowess is negligible. Thanks to our new agricultural methods and precise allocation measurements for manual labor workers, we'll have bountiful surpluses for years to come, although minor logistical issues continue to bedevil our nation. These will no doubt soon be resolved, and we can return to our primary objective, the completion of the vision of our glorious Rexhir SS. Fuel for the tanks, food for the soldiers. Very good. Oh, we can do that eventually. Oh, we need more infantry equipment, which would be totally good to get, actually. And down here, let's see... Actually, this is not going up really at all. It's, it just goes up to there. Uh, if you do that, that let's see how it goes any lower. Um, I would like to get more agricultural stuff. And you know what? Construct the bunkers. We lose a thousand manpower. That's fine with me. Supply the food. Current level is six. Can we not get any higher? Maybe not. I mean, I don't mind getting rid of manpower because we have enough as it is right now. But um, oh, research. That's why. Good. It is still sixty-eight, so not bad. Pounds of Faust. Yes, please. And, okay, final measures. We could still go down this way as well, which I kind of want to do. Um, food consumption will decrease. Loyalty goes down. Agricultural output at the cost of reduced loyalty. 
monthly food production would be very nice. We could do some of this stuff now. But I think we can activate a plan. But I want to get through all this stuff as fast as possible, as quickly as possible. And then do some plans. Because honestly, at this point, um, we can still have the shrimp boat incident. But there's having a thermonuclear war really is not going to really be able to be achieved probably with the current amount of TNO in the game. Like, when TNO 2 comes out, it'll probably be possible. But Puma, USA, uh, Wolf. I think LBJ is still president of the USA. So, Italian Sphere Condor. I still want to screw up Iberia if we can. So, you know what? We'll try it once. Why not? We'll try to go back to it and see what we can do. Obviously, we have no PP for this stuff, but that's alright. But, let's go ahead and come down here. So, we can do a temporary solution. Raise their loyalty, but increase their support in conquer states. Or, the only way forward. Increasing our support in those states... Uh, even if certain legions are angered, and we can raise your load to anyways. The only way forward. Whilst our estimation towards both the abilities and the length of usefulness by which the Gauls are able to provide generally stand correct, it has come to our attention that they still remain angry for a lack of higher standing and rulership over the territories they have been assigned to, spitting upon the orders of the Reichster SS, as those treasonous pigs have always done. However, we mustn't lose ourselves, nor can we afford to lose their loyalty through the conflict. Rather, we must establish an immediately effective precedent. Given the Charlemagne's legions' actions against us for so long, and so many enemies to face in the decadent world of today, all lands will be under direct authority of the Odenstadt. Whether they prove or not, anyone who disagrees may find themselves at the top of the gallows should they express their differences openly. Good. We got a few more guys. You know what? If we have a few more guys, we send them straight to Rodomo. Then no questions asked. Now, I haven't even busted down anything here. So let's go do that too. Um, actually, we got a lot of organization uh, or intelligence. Let's do Charlemagne. We've got some of this. Promiscuous officers would be nice to talk about, but let's not do that yet. Uh, oh, we got some of this too. Foreign Trink Tickets. If you like about that, please go right ahead. Alright. We can crack the code. We can find where it was made. Look into the artwork. Let's find out where this thing was made. Might as well, right? And food stockpiles. Ooh, still 100. Not bad. 2300. 23,000, I mean. 23,000. So far, wealth will be not be bad. Steel. How do we increase it? Because we're doing really well with this. Oh, look at this. Introduce industrial farms in the center. Increase food production. Monthly skilled workers in this growth in the states. Worker state will go down by 40 every month. That's not bad. Really? Oh, level 28. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad. Um, military austerity. That stuff is good. Look at. Boom, boom. Thank you. Good, good, good. Still building. Just lots of building. Keep building. When you're done, build more, 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 more. Actually. Guns are nice. I don't want to lose supplies, though, so... You can try to make more mass rest, I guess. Doesn't really matter too much. Hmm. Good. Anything I should be concerned with? Not really. I mean... Oh, successful investigation. Very good. We've been very, very <clears throat> good at what we do here. We'll put it like that. 68. Let's grab some of this, because we can. I guess we could do this too, but it's not, it's not really worth it, but whatever. We'll do it anyways. Because we can. In dealing with a headless chicken. Finally, we've managed to gain for ourselves a more secure position with our lands now well monitored and well controlled, both by the superior Aryan men within our ranks and the foolish Gauls who continue to rightfully serve as their personal bloodhounds. With that in mind, decadence still crawls in the form of our opposition as Walloo, now leaderless with the vanishing of their beloved leader Leon de Grel, rages in the north as a tribe of barbarians, frothing at the mouth with rage boiled over from their defeat as well as lust for Aryan blood under the inept Jean Francois Tierte. Now, with full knowledge as to what happens if we let such terrorists do about, we must ensure we deal with these abominations before they can cause any more potential destruction against the Oldenstadt. They are weak, licentious creatures, and they will be exterminated as the vermin they are under the might of the Aryan way of life. Very good. I could use some chromium for ships, but now we're good. 3.6 billion, not bad. Um, anything here? Oh, I do want to... I still want to arrange this. Yeah, we're going to do that. Arrange a false flag, that'd be nice. Um, anything here? Oh, uh, yeah, actually. Good. Nice. Um, there you go. Shove all the police officers there for now. Good. No, alright, that's fine. Oh, new month. New us. Ah, oh, very good. Oh, they're gonna need more soldiers here, or more stuff there. Um, there you go. Just shove them in there. 
No questions to ask, the taps run dry. Uh oh. For as long as it's been a concern, oil has flowed steadily into the Aldenstadt from abroad. The most crucial of all resources, petroleum has become the lifeblood of the Aldenstadt, powering industries and cities, providing material for critical production, and not to mention fueling the engines of the armed forces. Yet recently, the flow of oil from the tap began to lose its strength in the Middle East. The global oil well has been grown unstable, production in the region has been ground to a near halt, and as a result of the nations of the world have scrambled elsewhere for the pre precious crude. As regions previously unsuited to provide for much more than local needs are hurriedly pro prospecting for international exports, the impending shortages are easily predictable, yet the Oldenstadt cannot afford such a shortage. Should the global oil situation grow any more perilous, we, we run the possibility of being cut off entirely from the oil tap. This cannot come to pass. We must act immediately to attain for ourselves a novel source of oil that we may rely upon to power the engines of the Oldenstadt soon, else we may find ourselves joining the world in crisis. Drip, drip, drip. Oh boy. Oh boy. Drip, drip, drip. We're still arranging a false flag. Um, cool. Dealing with the headless chickens. Nice. Oh, gotta pop my back. Oh, yeah. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm doing pretty well myself. Now we can ready the cleaver. Ready the strings. The fist tightened. Feel. Oh. The feel of progress. Oh, crap. Oh, man. That's not good. So, that nothing happened over here. We can keep doing this. The future secured. We need to go all the way down here through this as fast as possible to get to this stuff. Oh my goodness, going under the curtain. The hardline S will be displeased. Synthesize this uh, Krastov production. Well, looks like we gotta go down here fast as possible. Raise your neighborhoods. The Chronicles of History have outlined a clear thematic presence of Germanic supremacy upon the face of the globe. From the barbarian supremacy following the stabbing of the Roman Julius Caesar to the dominance of the German Empire above the whelps within any form of French Republic or Austro-Hungarian Union to the victory of the Reich against the corrupted allies of the West and the Judeo-Bolsheviks of the East. However, within the Oldenstadt, we have recognized a clear presence of architectural Frenchism, a gross stain upon an otherwise growing powerful Aryan society, and with any form of non-Aryan influence comes the inevitable corruption which follows thus. It shall become our greatest priority to destroy any traits of such influence from our state, buildings, sculptures, entire neighborhoods, each detail, gross details of the French, which we cannot allow to grow any further. The Oldenstadt shall be purified of these influences by fire and forge if necessary. You're fired. Monsieur Thériot, I call for you in the office. Your secretary said it was important. The Stadtdatenführer nodded tiredly to the adjunct and gave a tired wave to the officers and he had been playing cards with. I'll head up there right now. As he dragged himself slowly up the stairs at the HQ of the Walloon Legion, he tried to rub the tiredness from his eyes. Too many sleepless nights lately, too many doubts. He was starting to gain a better understanding of why DeGraw finally broke. As he entered his office, his secretary immediately pointed to the phone on his desk and mouthed the words, Chef Domain. Terriot cursed internally, but put on his best German. Alex Führer, what a pleasant surprise to get a call from you this morning. Himmler sounded even flatter than usual. Pleasant indeed, Herr Terriot. I would have said Standartenführer, Terriot, but I have instructed the Hauptamt to immediately relieve you of all your positions. Or positions. Terriot froze. Wait, what? I mean, please repeat my Rex here. You are hereby relieved of your duties. The services of the Walloon Legion are no longer required, and his members are under audit pending an official investigation of potentially treasonous activities. Guten Tag, Herr Terriot. Terriot barely listened to the end of the sentence as he was distracted by the sounds of doors slamming open and yelling in German and French down below. He clambered desperately to do the phone as if to a lifeline. Please, no, Herr Rex here. I've always been loyal, even if parts of the Legion... His voice trailed off as he realized the silence on the other end of the line before he screamed as the door behind him slammed open. The secretary tried to, tried to grapple with the soldier, storming in for a few seconds before a shot rang out and showered Terriot the phone and the desk in blood, brains and bone fragments. Terriot held on to the phone for dear life, crying and begging into it as he was dragged away by the German SS officers, the phone line eventually being pulled out of the wall. Far away, the Reichsführer crossed out another item on his daily agenda as being complete. A job well done, my friends. Oh, the Walloons. They'd better be loyal. At least obedient. Hmm. I don't think we've been devastating enough to these people yet. Shovelman. Camp Rodomo. We're still building quite a bit. Look at that. That's beautiful. Ah, oh, nothing like uh -oh. increasing influence in French territory. Look at that. Huh. We're not already dealing with the Legion support. Cool. And mass arrest. Well, we can stop doing that because nothing happens really there. So, uh, we can keep doing this. Construct some bunkers. Get rid of the manpower, I guess. Current level seven. Oh, current level is twenty-eight. Not bad. Arm the bunkers. Supply the bunkers with food. I don't want to hurt that too much yet. Uh, manpower and manpower for now. And after we raise the neighborhoods, a new surveillance era. 
The modern age has brought about great revolutions. Oh, look at that. LBJ won again. Uh, in the technological world, thanks in part to the scientific advancements of the Vataland, which have brought the world into a new era of connections and research. One of the greatest leaps in technological possibility has come through the new re reaches in photographic and videographic technologies, as the rapid happenings of the modern age can now all be captured, watched, and monitored. Although the decadent capitals of the West still claim to use such technologies for the gross and entertainment they fetishize, and the Slavs will bear no advanced possession of this technology for decades in the broken state. It is a perfect opportunity for us to apply such technology to monitor the possibility of corruption within our state. Aryans are still the supreme masters of this world, and we shall ensure that all citizens understand that it is the Aryan state that watches over and protects them at all costs. We are really not getting any political power here. Man, it's so bad, man, it's so bad. But the brutalist, true brutalist is on. The city of Paris remains a towering symbol for all those desperately clawing for corrupted ideals of democracy, freedom, individualism, and autonomy. The French throughout time stood as a direct enemy to the virtuous Aryan, attempting to tear down any form of Western authority for the sake of their own pitiful grasps for a free state, even as it helped allow for the birth of the U.S. of America. However, such bright lights can be snuffed out by the powers of the Oldenstadt, and quench this flame we shall. From the architecture of the buildings to the structure of the artworks and areas of French culture, the state shall lend its grasp to secure our brighter future. Every single minuscule inch of our public sphere shall be checked over with our capital being rebirthed into a new age of order, law, and Aryan supremacy, above the gross weakness of the French who prided themselves on this formerly decadent land for centuries. Quite. Seriously, why are we not getting any political power? This doesn't make any sense, but whatever. I don't like that. Mm. Nice. Level 28 still. Our uh, current food stores are not good. We might need to do this stuff. Mm, still 100, not bad. Greatly increased influence. Yeah, I know. Just it just doesn't seem right. It just doesn't seem like we're getting enough stuff here at all. And by enough stuff, I mean just political power. We we don't get any political power. It seems like, which I don't think is good, but still. Nice. Shove him in Rodomo because we're actually losing quite a few guys. Um. Literally just shove them all in there. Nice. Because I will cancel it again if we have to. Uh, you know what? Cancel it. Because there's, there's nothing we can do. There's literally nothing we can do. Every time we activate it, we have to cancel it. Just because, like, we don't get enough political power every single time. When we don't have a plan, we get enough political power, but right now we don't. And yeah, this stuff can hurt us as well, getting PP, but... If we can't do anything, then what's the point of activating it? So, I, 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 it's just a waste of time. Doing global plans, honestly, is a waste of time. Let the AI do it when, in a normal campaign, but for me... I think it's just a waste of time, but total standout is zero. Although we've done a wonderful job of unifying the complex system of French, Belgian, pre-war and post-war Reich standards in science, manufacturing, and infrastructure, there are still some areas that have not been fully adapted. There shall be one standard, an official standard set by the Assets Main Economic and Administrative Office, that will handle all official industrial measurements and it will be followed. Good. The rebirth of Paris, huh? Merci. It was always a curious balance being a non-German member of the SS in his sharp black uniform, Pieter Spolstra, endangered or engendered the same fear and obedience from the average citizens that scuttled like ants upon Paris' dismal streets, but from that others. Soldiers, he received only score. No matter how carefully he practiced, his German remained or retained a Dutch accent, and no amount of work or loyalty would alter his notably ungothic pro profile and facial features. An Aryan Pieter undoubtedly was, but an officer he would never be. Pieter had visited Paris only once before the war, still a teenager on an unwanted trip to visit an unloved aunt. He remembered being only half bored by the endless trivialities and half impressed by the city's unmistakable beauty. They said now that it had been an evil, corrupt sort of beautify, long gone and best forgotten. Like any other member or SS member without a death wish, Pieter agreed and manifested his hatred for the degenerate French culture whenever possible. Nonetheless, as he walked with his patrol, he could not help but notice how much had changed. A concrete building, unmarked except for Himmler's rounded swastika, marked the local SD headquarters. Perhaps it was his imagination, but he thought that he could still see the handful of burnt timbers around the building's base, remnants of the wine shop that had stood there before. Once it had once been a colorful mural, it was now gray concrete, stolid, solid, cons unconsidering, and topped with barbed wire. Pieter wondered whether the wire served any purpose or whether it was 
clothes that only there to remind the Parisians that such luxuries as beauty, free movement, and or blue sky were luxuries best forgotten. Pietro kept his treasonous thoughts to himself, and that did not stop him from melt met meeting out or meting out a beating to the worker who dared to bump into him on the street. Nonetheless, he could not turn his thoughts away from what he had been and would never be again. Changes for the better, modern efficiency, skilled worker growth, and suppression of efficiency in all and West Paris greatly increase. Nice. Little bit of lag, uh, hopefully something was going on here. Nice. Meal. Good. Nice. More building slots, please, thank you. Good. Give us your guys, because Rodomo needs them. Rodomo needs all of them. There you go, nice. Alright, let's see. More intelligence gathering, which we still need to do. Ah, uh, we're kind of good for now. 100? Can we do anything about this yet? No, we cannot, which kind of sucks. Maybe we've been too successful with this, perhaps? Maybe not? What is this? The old safe house? If you like to do about that, please go right ahead. Holds, that's good. Cool, we can raid it. Infiltrate the safe house. Stake out? Let's stake it out. Hmm. That stuff is all okay. Mass arrests. None of this stuff really matters too much. Build our wealth. Go and do that too. Just keep supplying the bunkers with food for now. That'd be okay. And next technology will be done relatively soon ish. And after that, cutting the cords. No, we need work as freedom. Which I guess we did this one before, I think, right? Oh, there goes Iberian stuff. Um. I think we already read this one, so if you want to read about this one again, because I redid this like off-screen a while ago, so if you want to read about this one, please go right ahead again. So that is, it is. We do work as freedoms, of course. Requires expanding your reach. Oh, it's down there. Okay, that's fine. So uh, what we'll do next is probably the uranium of Zentra Massive. The Zentra Massive, the highlands of southern France, have an untapped geological potential that was never exploited to its fullest extent by the foolish French government. Deep beneath the surface are veins of uranium ore, just waiting to be mined, refined, and put to a far more noble purpose. Although it's not a massive department that can sustain an expansive nuclear program for years, it'll most certainly do for now. At the establishment of the, of the Burgundian state, industry in the Alton Shaw was scattered, a scattered mix of different systems, structures, and procedures, from the endless tiny differences in equipment they torn, from the mire of German bourgeois competition between different firms, to the pathetic state of degenerate French factories, the industry of this region was better suited for the production of untermatch cooking ware and farm equipment than it was the guns and tanks of the last hope of the invincible Aryan race. Now, though, there is one standard set by the eagle-eyed commissars of the SS in one way, the Burgundian way. The factories that follow the same protocols of worth workers, machinery, and infrastructure designed for maximization of efficiency. Now, there is no purpose for these workshops except for the goals of the state, and no guiding vision except for that of our glorious Reichsführer. With our recent conquest of yet more French territory, the time is... Uh, has to expand and perfect our system soon. The hammers will ring in unison across the Audenstadt, and as one of the tanks shall roll from the ca ca cavernous depths to bring destruction onto the enemies of our people. From the depths of heck, the Legion Poles. Good, good, good. And we get minus 8% consumer goods. Good. How's up, food? Ooh, we need, we need more food. Uh, population growth will go. Just give our PP up to us, and maybe we'll take some more food. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Food balance has changed by that much. Um, I don't want hurt stability, so we really need to get some more food. Hmm. Minus 600 something, that's not bad. We need more guns for this one too, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, Redomo's still looking pretty good. I love it. Oh, we can do this one too. How is this coming along? I, oh, well, that's going down. A lot of the stuff is still going down, whatever it is, what it is. Agriculture is stagnant. Well, that's not good. The bunkers, what do they mean? Um, hmm. Industrial equipment begins to improve. It's not bad. Actually, I kind of like that. We lose some output, though. That's quite a bit of output lost. Industrial farms... Yeah, I think it's time to throw, we gotta throw in some farms in here, so. Stockholm Conference succeeds, good for them. 
10,000, so we'll have to wait for that thing to get built, but then we will do the atom in our hands. Warfare has become conceptually intertwined with the very nature of humanity, and this perpetuating growth upon human nature, the Aryan spirit is expressed as intertwining more masterfully than ever before. It was the supposed Germanic barbarians who brought down the cesspit of sin that was the Roman Empire, and it was the Aryan that brought the dragon to the United States of America, and the rest of the democratic world to kneel before us through the might of the atomic warfare. And now, finally, the true Aryans of this world shall regain control over the masterful power of the atomic weaponry after the cowardly traitors of the Reich became too feeble to handle the immense might of such arms. We shall direct our efforts into constructing reactors capable of producing the components needed to manufacture nuclear weapons of our own, and propel the Aryan's ability for war far further than the world could ever know by the will of the Reichster SSS. Yes, require uranium, huh? That is fine with us. Piety is getting better. As well as modern industrial equipment. Wait, we have literally modern industrial... Wow, that's not bad. U.S. Japanese stocks begin. Uh, yeah, we could influence that, but... It's hard to play as Burgundy. It's pretty darn difficult, so. And food. Oh, that's not good. Oh, minus 3,500. That is not good. What we're going to have to do is probably tear down some of these cities. Food production will only be penalized, but often this will be lost. Um, No, we'll raise one. Why not? We'll do one. 0.55. We'll get that one. That's fine. We can always steal a little bit more food right now, too. Of course, we can also do this too. Food for those who matter. It matters not whether the people have enough to eat if the men guiding them are starving. If the Oldenstrasse leaders are malnourished, it risks putting everything that the S Reichsfeuer SS has worked towards in, in jeopardy. They will be sluggish and prone to error, and in the tense world of today, that cannot be tolerated. The answer is clear. The leaders need to eat first. Starting with those of the Reichsfeuer SS, has deemed to be of the utmost priority, those of vital importance to the Oldenstrasse shall have their daily fill. Good. That's still worrying me a little bit. A little less than 8,000 is not bad. Oman is falling apart. Instruction in Oman. Yeah, it is what it is. But no one really cares. Construct bunkers. More bunkers. 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 Food supplies. Uh, don't worry about guns for now. Keep our PPA as much as possible for now, probably. As much as I want to do this off, but I think it was best to wait. Oh. Oh, what is this? Current uranium supply is zero. Ooh, extract prices minerals. No, that's money, which is nice. But we don't. Oh, look at that. We need more skilled workers in the state. We, two, we at least have two uranium mines not tied up at refining stuff. Hmm. That's good. Still loyal. That's good. Hmm. Wow, that's really bad. Um, oh, wow, that is... Walloon is extremely bad. Wow, that is... Clear up some more building space. So this one is... Oh, we can do it down here, too. We have at least two uranium mines not tied up beating other refinement centers. Oh, they just get a nuclear reactor in Paris then. Wait, we don't have any nuclear things there though. Not tied up? Huh. I'm not sure if that's glitched or not, just because I don't see anything about refinings and stuff like that, so... Oh, ex okay, expand mines. We need more laborers here. But I don't think we can do that just because we don't have enough political power. And we need 1,250 here. I think everything just costs too much political power, honestly. Like, this is ridiculous. We Why can't we use our command power? There we go. That's good. That's better. That's a little bit better balanced. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I wish we could use more command power for stuff. Pinch of suit is good. Moderate, moderate, moderate. Uh, cool. That's fine. Just it's a waste of political power doing stuff like that. So, uh, arm the bunkers, I guess. Arm the bunkers. 
And we can't arm the bunkers again, that's fine. For those who matter, establish priority lists. The distribution of something as vital as food cannot simply be as ad hoc process. A comprehensive and standardized system is necessary in order to properly organize and maximize efficiency in the distribution of rations while making sure that the most deserving gets priority. Look at that. Everything must be taken into account. Age, rank, military activity, current office, past responsibilities, the state importance of the projects, recommendation from the Reichsführer SSS. Reichsführer SS. No details too minor. The consequences are too large to leave anything up to chance. Bread for the soldiers. The strength and greatness of the Oldenstadt is undeniable. Where else in history has there been a nation such as we that prioritizes efficiency over degeneracy and racial purity over petty notions of stability? But the chain is only as strong as its links working in unison, and it is the SS that serves as a chain that binds Burgundy together. Although we had previously hoped that our food supply concerns would not reach levels threatening to our pure Aryan soldiers, it would seem like we must now take steps to preserve their nutritional content, and thus their prowess on the battlefield. Naturally, the resources allocated to this endeavor will be much greater than those previously made available for the factory workers and intermetch laborers. The SS is our rock, our sword, our guiding light. They are an extension of the will of the Reichsführer and the Aryan race. Still, though, if we are to see our greater aims achieved, everyone else will have to make sacrifices, and Condor takes flight. Lord Reichsführer SS. Now that the Iberian Wars have broken out, we can move on to the final phase of the global plan Condor. Our operatives have prepared several initiatives in accordance with aims and specifications from early correspondence. They await your command to be put to place, put the plans in action. Excellent. Good. What you still have to do with this off? Um, okay, not bad. Arm the bunkers would be nice, but we can't do that. Ooh, we might have still more food from them. I don't want to do that. That's really bad. Uh, if we have to raise it down, that's so be it, you know. It was doing so well earlier, but now it's really bad. I don't want to steal anything from anybody, but still. 60 would be nice. We need more skilled workers, and this is center sued, right? So that's pretty good. Anything else before I use my command power? There you go. 400 is pretty nice. Mm, I don't want to. I don't really want to steal them from Redomo, but yeah, that's fine. Whatever. I probably shouldn't do that, but ooh, industrial farms. Go and do that. That's fine. They might be a little bit disloyal up here because of all the laborers, but that's alright. We can have more laborers then. Um, refocus the state, that's fine. Military austerity, we have 24 supplies, which is not nearly enough. Food supply, how are we doing? US oh, the treaty's been signed, the winds have changed in Pacific, okay, well, it's good for them. They actually signed it, wow. Look at that, now it's good. Our food balance has changed by 2300. So this is very weird. So up next, what we're going to do is probably go and construct refinement centers. I think that's we got to do that next. Or really expand your arena mines. So that's good. Let's go ahead and do cutting the cords. No, we don't want that one. We want to keep doing this stuff, even though I want to do that stuff as well. Oh my goodness, there's just so much to do with Burgundy. It's almost too much. <laughs> so if you want to read about forced relocation again, because we got to go back through here, please go right ahead. And we'll have to do work as freedom, which I believe we also read. So it is what it is, but, you know. Crisis in Nanjing. Oh well. The list of life. It seems that the food production in the Olden Shah has continued to decline slightly longer than anticipated. Of course, this is unlikely to inhibit our objectives in the long term, but for now, we will have to institute rationing among our S the SS in order to not exhaust our food supplies even further. Priority lists will be drawn up closely tied to the performance history and area purity of individual SS units, of course. Well, everyone has to make sacrifices. The greatest burden will be on our non-German collaborator legions. Although some might see this necessity as a threat to the already tenuous loyalty of those forces, our brilliant Reichsfuhrer sees an opportunity within this challenge that by preferring some of our allies over others in the allocation of food supplies, we can help to strengthen the ties most useful to the Oldenstadt while weakening the capabilities of the other legions. Now, the only thing left to decide is which legions will have the honor of receiving the most supplies and attention. Bind Charlemagne, Erickson deserves a reward, Walloon must eat. Um, hmm. Well, who's who's leading which one? Because we got rid of Teramat. Teramat. Teriat. So... We probably we need more workers here too, anyway. So uh, I do want to do these, but that uh, uh. I don't remember which one. Who's leading what? I think Walloon was Teriat. Charlemagne was probably Delamazier, 
Langemach is kind of okay, so let's do Charlemagne. Because we can raise the loyalty later on, so Axon. They're still loyal, so no worries. For now. Almost 20 out of 20, look at that, beautiful. After that, we, if you want to read about Workers Freedom, please go right ahead. It just, it is what it is. I'm pretty sure we already read that one, though, so. Industrial expertise gets worse, but uh, what else is new, you know? Okay, guys, what's going on down here? Oh, more police officers, good. Oh, wow. That is quite crazy. There you go. That's, that looks a little bit better. Alright, they have only 77 laborers. Oh, I don't want to do that yet. That's good enough. We got plenty in reserve for Rodomo. Who's looking pretty... Yeah, we gotta get rid of all this. Like, what's going on here? Seven fifty is not bad. Oh wait, we oh yeah, we used to have so many police officers there. Holy crud! Holy smokes! Um, even girls around Paris. That's looking really bad. How? Why? We have a limit already placed upon us. This is not good then. Wow, this is really bad. Ooh. Build a factory just in case. Not bad? Okay, so we're still doing pretty okay, but... Wow. Okay, okay, let's get rid of some of these guys then. Good. More supplies are nice. We still have 34, so that's not bad. Death of President Ho Chi Minh. Goodbye, Ho Chi Minh. Truly a tragic day. Uh, Charlemagne's increase our influence in Charlemagne's territories, although it's become slightly more suspicious. Actually, open investigations. 100 is pretty good. Charlemagne. What does this one say? Improvised press. Pre printing press. Cool. If you want to keep reading about that, please go ahead. Using old prints. Examine the equipment. Look at the supply chain. Boom, 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 boom. Blackmail them. We're pretty good right now. Uh, we need 60 more political power. Food is looking very good. Very, 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 very good. We need more guns, too. It's like, seriously. We just don't have enough. You can lower that by a little bit more. Lower that by a little bit more. That's fine. L loads of guns. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of guns. Not bad. Relocation is not bad. Work is freedom. Pretty good. Follow it up with. It's still 69. Nice. Better tank stuff. Cool. Three full lines of 20 out of 20. The Iberian Wars rage on. We love it. 33 is not bad. Minus 8% consumer goods. Pretty good. Going by 5,000. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, we got another one here. Equipment, equipment, two, ooh. Material facilities, ooh. Increase the construction speed by 5%. Expand the workforce. Okay, not bad. Increase the factory output by 5%. Anything else here? Open investigations, maybe. We'll do these guys next. Oh, we have found the old safe house. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Because we can do that. Or we can go back to an older one. Look who to receive to confiscate the equipment. I remember we did this one before, but, you know, we'll try this one. There you go. 87% is pretty good. Yeah, this is not good for us here. Um, we have enough supp We need a little bit more political power, so then we can start doing this. Boom. There you go. Good. Oh, we got rid of the, a lot of the squalor here. Um, but let's read the next uh, one here. How about that? Shanks, empty tanks. Well, we don't need that. We need this one. Cutting the cords... 
Oh, we need Mueller's Broken Roads. For this one, we need Expanding Our Reach. So I think after that, we can do this one, Flexing Our Reach. Our work to ensure a greater future for the Olden Shaw has been realized through the winding, winding camps and countless smokestacks rising above the former city of Rouen, where the French would gather to fetishize the disgusting ways of French Catholic nobility. Now, all that stands is the great working place of Rodomo, where subhumans find their true purpose in endless work to support their masters, while the common Aryan finds its place in to exercise the strength of Aryan genetics through dedication to the state. However, <clears throat> it is time for us to capitalize upon the newfound strength throughout the benefits of the KZ Laga Rodomo, and it's time to serve the Reichführer's assesses of vision through economic bolsterings from a greater form of infrastructure. Examining the countless plans and operations planned out for the operatives within the Schutzstaffel Aus and Politischista AMT and applying our new assets from our emboldened infrastructure will allow us to succeed like unlike anything seen before. In which we even lose more with skilled monthly workers? Nice. Flexing our might. Glorious news! The first stage in our program for the repurposing of infrastructure within the Oldenstadt has been completed. The French laborers have been integrated into our factories, their resistance broken, and their spirits realigned with the purpose of their new state. Now at last, we can refocus on newly increased capacity on the expansion of our global aims. The soldiers and spies of the Oldenstadt will go forth equipped with the finest machinery that man has ever seen. Our tanks and our fleet, our aircraft, and both those actions claimed by the Oldenstadt and those done under our false flags will now be armed at levels equal or exceeding those of the greatest world powers. There will be no enemy near or far that can defy the power of the Shadow State. Let the degenerates of the world be aware they will soon witness the power of the Arium. Let our fires burn bright and from them shall come the final darkness. Very good. And I've also gone ahead and expanded another mind here in Vichy, so about for 50 more days. And honestly, it seems like laborers and police officers, it's, it's so weird. It's like we don't have enough, you know, of either one. But for now, I want to do Unsavory Friends, but we need to go down here as fast as possible. We can finish this up as well. Food-wise, we're doing extremely well. Like, very, very well. Um, reduce loyalty for more agricultural output would be really nice, but I think it's time for us to keep doing this stuff down here. We can either ready the cleaver or ready the strings. Overall, I think I want to ready the cleaver just in case. Increase their loyalty, a few key positions. Uh, ensuring will loyalty under our thumb uh, to raise new... Uh, our raise our monthly intelligence gain, get more intelligence, versus in our palm. To greatly raise the amount of police officers trained a month will be unlocked, which is pretty good. Um, I just want to destroy the Legion. Like, I really want to. Uh, the Taste of Victory. Okay. And then Fighting a Ghost. An investigation into our most elusive foe will be authorized. A few key positions. Ensuring... Uh, greatly decrease their suspicion. Greatly anger the Legion, but restore our authority. I don't want to hurt that one. But it seems like if we do that, we might actually get some stuff done. Encouraging Erickson might be really good to us. Uh, ooh, intelligence gain. I kind of like that. We can't really spend too much of it, but... I do like more police officers, and we could really, really use those. So... I really want to do this one, but maybe we'll do this. Ready the strings. Why not? The Walloon is a dangerous beast, capable of endless crimes to be committed against both our Ordenstra and the great Aryan men and women who make up our great populace. However... While these beasts can endanger our plans on an untold scale, to slash and tear them apart shall only spell greater heartache for our domestic operations, as they shall go from their current state of bloodlust to immeasurably furious ones to become cornered by us instead. Adapting to them and using them shall be our greatest priority in order to maintain a cooperative relationship, in order to maintain their loyalty, without needing to initiate further bloodshed, to stay in our lands. So, other than that, not much else has really happened. I mean, oh, Egypt has fallen apart. Falangus, Spain is still there. Uh, so yeah, not bad. Hopefully Iraq falls apart. Turkey's got a little bit has become a little bit demilitarized. Yemen has fallen apart as well. So, yeah, I'd like to spend more time with uh, global plans, but I just we have too much for me to really do before I we can really just set, focus on it. So, it's very weird. And we just don't have enough workers. We don't have enough police officers, and we don't have enough workers, which is very strange. Very, very strange. But about three billion, not bad. Not bad. And this says we can get to a max level. What is the max level here? We spent a ton of infantry commit manpower Reichsmarks here, so I, I really don't know like what's the max level. And I, I'm spending guns here on supply and get a lot more food and supplies. Like, is the max level 100? Because it's is this is the, an extreme amount that we've dedicated into here. So I don't want to send any more supplies in there, but oh, I, I just don't know anymore. I just really don't know. Increase officer cap capability as a capacity. That'd be good. Oh, we have a few more police officers here because even here, like this isn't looking good. We need more laborers. But we don't have enough police officers, so I'll take you guys out and throw them back in here because Rodomo's not looking good right now. Like, we are running out of workers. So, yeah, this is very weird. Oh, we can do that. Introduce industrial farms. Yeah, we don't have enough guys here, but we don't need any more farms for now. Uh, 31 days. We need more political power. We need more skilled. Ooh. Our uranium supply will go up by one. That's not bad. 
Mm, we do have 60 political power. We get more money. Uh, we need more um, brutalist cities, really. That's something we could really use. We need more workers, and at least two uranium mines not tied up to doing other stuff. Well, let's wait to do that, because we want to do that stuff, so. Let's see some Manchuria and the Rayon. How many supplies do we have right now? We have 26. Ready the strings, my friends. Ready the strings. Good. Let them fall apart. And a few key positions. One of the biggest characteristics about these treasonous northern tribes which seek to define us is that they're rallying behind their figurehead leader, willing to live, breathe, and die by the command in order to secure their idealistic dreams. Be they bastardized production of Judeo-Bolshevism or nationalistic tendencies, bred from the lesser worthy's desire to attain greatness in this world which has rejected them, however. Their strong devotion shall produce their inevitable downfall as we shall capitalize upon such notions through our infiltration and usurpation of leadership from their nativist leaders towards those which allow us to benefit. The balloons shall finally find themselves growing groveling towards our feet in the endless search for another figure to devote, them, devote themselves to, and we shall stand victorious with another legion safely under our command to rule over. Good. More loyalty is very, very good to have. Uh, let's see. We can blackmail them, but eh, we're kind of good. Let's see. Suspicion is 16. Their old safe house. Can we do anything here yet? No. Um, I do want to see if we can maybe raid the safe house. Let's raid it. See what happens. Terrorists attack in Italy. Not bad. And how happy? Almost 1970. In 19 days. Nuclear stuff would be nice. We need 2,000 workers down there, though. My goodness. That's so much. About 1,000. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that one. We need more supplies. So, yeah, it's definitely going. A moderate amount of untapped uranium, small amount. Uh, current uranium supplies one successful investigation is always good, right? Well, let's read about the next focus, probably. In our poem. Once more on top of years of brewing conflict, discontent sown by the Judeo-Bolshevik devils of corruption and despair and the thousands of bodies who, of those who stood against us, we have, fi we have finally shown our great place as the leaders of this land, as all others who would oppose the old and shut now Neo, recognizing us as a rightful overlord and deserving master. Although we now set down the rifle and roll the tank back into the depot, we must never forget history and remember the consequences of our volunteers perpetrated by the subhuman and the socialists left unchecked. Furthermore, we must remain on check of every last square inch of resistance. Within our territories, whilst the joys of victory remains plastered on our face, a facade for the inevitable search for enemies which dominates our leadership. Very good. Wow, that's looking really bad. Industrial expertise is going down quite a bit. That is not bueno. Real not bueno. We've got some political power here, which is pretty nice. Is there anything else we can do here? Not too much. Equipment would be nice. Eh. No more untapped uranium is gone. Well, that's not good. Well, we have least of these guys. So, how about here in Burgund? We need more workers in Burgund. Hey, they're loyal. Hey, they're finally loyal. Look at that. Burgund, we need some soldiers here. Oh, that's looking okay. Take them all. Let's try it. Construction and refinement centers in Burgund. Nice. Uh, that's actually really cool. Uh, we don't really... Because, I mean... Food-wise, look at this. 20,000. We're doing very, very well in food, but collaborators need not apply. For years, the oldest shots relied upon the collaborator legions to re remain afloat. However, yet, those who have betrayed their own nationalities to serve the Reich have always been of questionable loyalty, and for too long, the Reich's sphere SS has been forced into shamefully walking a tightrope to ensure that these opportunistic collaborators were all at all times content, and not looking for fresh opportunity to seize further power and control for themselves. The time for acrobatics and tightrope... Uh, Walking has come to an end. The treasonous legions of the Charlemagne Walloon have had work for the Reichsphere SS when it so suited them. But their minds have always been blackened with hidden thoughts of treason and treachery. Such hidden plots and aspirations shall never come to pass. The olden shot has outgrown the need to appease such collaborators. They will be dismantled. Their assets will be seized. What resources they have had at their disposal shall be brought back into the fold. One final effort so that the olden shot may rest easy, never again having to fear a stab in the back of the legions, bringing them back into the fold. New foes for eliminating our domestic foes have been unlocked. Cool. Alright, so political power. We could spend on this stuff, but I'm done with that for now. Money is nice and all, but uh, we can build more stuff here. We need more skilled laborers in here, though. Mm, I'm not going to take out anything in Rouen. That would be really bad. Plop them up. Thank you. Anything else for any excess workers anywhere? Because we, we don't have a lot of workers, as you can tell.
Beautiful. More uranium. We must enrich our uranium deposits at all times. Oh, we can do this. Upon t oh my gosh. What, the grand finale? I don't remember this one. Finally, it is done. The Iberian Union finds itself torn apart as a great pox of revolution has come to overpower the previously iron grips of Franco and Salazar. As men across the peninsula dare to call themselves leaders over the great horde of animals and the Iberians are. However, as men, women, and children tear themselves apart in their precious countrysides and disgustingly corrupted homes, the world looks on, seeking to intervene in some way as atrocity after atrocity is committed. Now is the time to hasten such atrocities, however, and ensure that they multiply every across every inch of the peninsula so that every single day may mark another splash of devotion from the world and another burning sense of tension, chaos, and destruction dawns boss across the world. Each world power will find themselves once again ready to carve apart this decadent world. Great, great, great. Finally, something else that please us with that stuff. Ah. And please, more Max Factory Sensei. And continue, please, build. We need more workers in this area. In Burgund. Oh god, we need way more workers. How's Rodomo looking? Yeah, they gotta put a lot of workers in there. Nice. Other than that, I mean, we're looking pretty good overall. They're all loyal. Which they should be. Greatly increased officer capacity. 55! Good lord, that's a good amount. No more untapped uranium. 20,000 is pretty good. I don't want to close this because we need to uh, keep an eye on it, but still. This seems like a never-ending quest. It says you can get up to max XP, but that doesn't seem right. We spent 36 million likes marks on them. Wow. Cripple the roster? Rooster. Hey, the Separatists. Useful fools. Um, less attack, nutrition. Let's aid the Separatists. Uh, aid the successors. Harvest, so, harvest what we sowed and end. Leaving Iberia. Permanently withdraw from Iberia. No longer be able to act in the region, but will regain some of the zero supplies we invested in the war. Oh, wow. Uh, in the Separatists. Throughout their peninsula, more and more rebel rousers have found themselves within the fire to march to the cause and to rally against the Iberian leadership that has dominated for so long and turn a new leaf in history, one of the prominence of independence and freedom. However, such notions will not be born out of mandate or legislation, no, only by the blood of men, women, and children. Shall these movements learn that they can accomplish their goals and that no square inch of land and no piece of international support is worth keeping in the threat of their independence. We shall relay supplies to these movements. Greater and more deadly weaponry will be found in these Separatist armaments, and we shall watch onwards as a Spaniard and the Portuguese is mowed down by their former subjects. We must remember, our secured army in Asturian territory is more than ready to handle things on their own for now, but worsened academic base. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead, because we've already read about that once. Awesome. Well, I was not awesome to get lower academic base, but it is what it is, you know. Nice. Anything else? Growth. Uh, we can just close up this one for now. The Iberian Spectacle. But let's do this one first. The day we've been preparing has finally has preparing for has finally come. The rot in Iberia has finally reached the heart, and the degenerate state has collapsed into war. We have long planned for this moment. As the Spanish Civil War showed us earlier this century, the peninsula is ideally placed for conflict to draw on foreign actors. Its location at the gate to the Mediterranean and the European continent makes the prize of a friendly Iberian polity too valuable for the great powers to resist interfering in the conflict, and tensions are sure to escalate across the globe as they find themselves backing rebel factions. There is much work to be done. Plans must be adapted, and new ones made. Assets must be activated and put to work. These first chaotic months will be defined in conflict that might just last years, and these crucial moments will contain the best chances to make the war serve our purposes. Swift and decisive action is imperative. Success here will be a crucial step on the way to set motion in the plan. Let the chaos reign. And let it reign long and furiously. 71, not bad. Charlemagne. What is this? La Gala. If you like to read this, please go right ahead. Invitations. Plant loyal moles. Let's listen, listen to this one. Nice. The famine is doing really... I mean, we're doing extremely well with that, so I'm not even worried about it. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh. oh that, make, that makes sense why you guys aren't doing so well. I'll put a lot of officers here, then. 
Give me 150. Rodomo really needs him. Wow. That's pretty darn bad, not gonna lie. That's pretty darn bad. Uh, I'd like to do this, but we need more skilled laborers down here, too. So, there you go. Get that uranium, guys. More and more uranium. Infinite uranium. And then, uh, aid the successors. The Spanish country and the Portuguese state have found themselves as a constant, uh, uh throughout the Chronicles' history challenge, but never overthrown in their, uh, their vie for power in the mighty age of the imperial conquest, nationalistic tendency, and ethnic supremacy. Despite their obvious ineptitude and unworthiness for this world, however, new, now more than ever, the legitimacy has crashed through the floorboards as various, more extreme, more radical, and more ruthless factions find themselves claiming to be the legitimate successor state in the mighty conflict which rocks Iberia. Empowering these states as powered as the Jew and the Bolshevik, as they may sometimes be, is necessary in order to guarantee more bodies pile up across Iberia, and the world gets drawn more and more into the great bloodshed of Iberia. Very good. Uh, oh, we want to do this one too. And um, we don't have to sp keep spending more, but build. We want to build, build, build. We are never done building. A good Aryan soldier is never done building. Especially as Spain continues to fall apart. And we love it. Manpower, 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 manpower. Throw in the supplies, too. Throw in the gun. Screw it. It's only level 33. Is that the max level? That might be the max level already. With 500, we need 1,200 more XP to level this up. I'm not sure if it's worth investing into that anymore, really. So, we'll see. 24 suspicion. We have 47. Oh, look at this! Oh, can we do anything here yet? No. Coded maps. We want to read about that. Please go right ahead. Cool. Decode the legend. Nice. Aid the successors. And people are still very loyal. Good, good, good. Clear space. Oh, man. We, are, we, we definitely need more uh, workers. So many more workers are needed here. Oh, wow, that's so many workers and so little few guys. Are we not being brutal enough to them? Are we not? Ooh, I'm burgund. You know where workers are burgund? All right. Sounds good to us. Oh, wow, that's really bad here. Really just brutal, like... We definitely need more stuff here, but nah. Uh, there you go. It's good. It's good. You can raise it up a little bit more. That's fine. Oh, that's pretty bad. There you go. At least we got a healthy amount of extra skilled labor in reserve, so that's kind of nice. And oh, let's do this one. Get rid of them. Mm, don't want to do that, but get more supplies because we could use them. Thirty-five supplies, not bad. And then strike the bull. Eh, yeah, why not? Lieutenant General James Milans del Bosch served diligently under Captain General Ancadillo Francisco Franco's rise to power so early in the rise to victory of the Rome Berlin Tokyo Axis during the Second World War. However, as time progressed, he, above everyone else, saw the Judeo Bolshevist corruption of the Spanish state as it sought a unification with the dreaded Portuguese, and even partook in the ill fated triumvirate and their desperate bid against the Reich, who should have been a faithful ally. Now, while he leads the most purified path in his Iberian conflict, such worries are not our priority. Yet, rather, we must ensure Bosch and the Falangists dedicate themselves to the blood of the cause more than ever before through failure met with gain, as they shall continuously know defeat and victory. This world requires an edge to be push, for, push towards, and currently we need Bosch dangling without any ropes to save him. And I would like to get to an end as well, so. After doing useful fools, I want to do all of these before we finish, keep, keep doing what we're doing. Wow, look at our GDP debt. Oh boy, our just debt. Wow, not bueno. Point in a day, not bad. 101 factories, pretty darn good. We are busy building, building, building. We're busy bodies here. Increase our arm sales, why not? 40 supplies, not bad. Pretty loyal, pretty good. How long is victory in Spain? Oh boy. Um, Anywhere else we can build stuff? Oh, down here too, that's not bad. We don't have enough political power for it right now, but that's okay. Um, that's okay. Uh, don't buy that much. Rodomo's looking okay now. 
Wow, that's really bad here. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Rodomo looking looking okay. Here, have more guys, Rodomo. Alright, increase officers, yes. Very good. Anything for the famine? No, we're doing very well. Domestic education, don't really care too much. And uh, oh that's now domestic education. Yeah, there's nothing really there. Industry Bazak Rodomo. And we could do some of this stuff. And equipment. How's equipment coming along? That's coming. We're doing that. I would like to do this one. We need more skilled workers and burgund. Alright, Rodomo. Looking okay. And I take that much away from them. And burgund. There we go. Nice. Very good. And we strike the bull. An end. Repo de uh, Let's see. They don't exist. We can't really take this one anymore. Cripple the rooster. So, an end. The conflict spreading across the Iberian Peninsula has been pushed and pulled as far as our hands can manipulate it. Every day, another Spanish father, another Portuguese mother, and another child of a minority find themselves plunged straight into the battle which consumes their lands as the ashes of their homes, business places, and the sources of entertainment all wipe across their face. As does the blood of the comrades, Iberia is broken. Spain is destroyed, Portugal is dead, and we have benefited each and every step of the way, both in its operations and in investments. The world has sunk its entire attention towards the blood which floods the lands of the peninsula, while the coffers of the Oldenstadt stand bloated from all of the of sales and investments coming forth from the entirety of our actions across the cursed peninsula. The time has come for the SS Oldenstadt Bergen to take its hand off a of global plan Condor and allow our splinters to rain forth from the heck that is now Iberia. Good. And we don't get any supplies, but it doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm here to have a good time. Yeah, we don't need these. Maybe I made too many of them. Because we, maybe we were a little bit too successful. There you go. More uranium mines? Yes, please. Thank you very much. Uh, just a quick check through here. Not too bad. Oh, that one's not too good. There you go. Uh, pretty good. Oh, that's not good. 300 gone. Stack more guys down there. Nice. More building slots are good. Tokyo standoff. Very good, very good, very good. Pretty good. You just throw them all into there. Don't care what happens down there. And then after an end, worth its weight in gold. We would love to do that, but I want it. I, oh, oh, oil crisis. Oh, crap. That is not good. Hmm. A taste of victory. Deep in the heart of the northern territories, the anger and embitterment of the men wholly conquered by the might of the Aryan brood, stewing until a kettle of unrest, terrorism, and murderistic tendencies dominated the land for years. As a savage beast kept the noble Aryan gripped by the terror of such savagery, however, now that our great agents have infiltrated and dominated the leadership dominating the Wallonian, Wallonian Legion, it is time to use this beast for our advantage alone. We shall transform the Legion into a new and greater force, one which remembers its masters well and does all in the service of the state. Training re regiments across Wallonian territory will focus on producing new and capable officers, one who will lead these troops into battle solely for the sake of the Oldenstadt above all else. Global Plan Global Wolf continues the prowl. To the night of the Oldenstadt of the Reichsführer SS. The time has come once more to look towards the continuous failures and opportunities for exploitation within the most despicable traitors across the Italian peninsula. On current intelligence reports indicate the massive conflicts exploding out from the Middle East has caused extreme plummets in stock investments towards Enta Nacionala. Edro Carburi, the most powerful Italian oil company, and in turn the top provider of international oil across the world. Though the world market shudders, may we toast to this most glorious collapse of Italian power? With all administration, uh, admiration and resolution, SS Obergruppen Führer Heinrich Müller, only fools and cowards about live upon that deserted peninsula and leaving Iberia. Our operations in Iberia have stoked the flames of war on the peninsula, and stirring the outbreak of a conflict which has been a major cause of tensions and mistrust among the major world powers. As the war broke out, we directed its participant to show the most destructive courses of action. We made the conflict more chaotic, and it is through our efforts that Iberian Peninsula is now seen as an opaque, war-torn mess in the eyes of the world. 
It's no time to withdraw most of our agents and let the conflict play out to its bloody end. While there still might be ways to stoke the flames, the Infernal's burning quite well on its own, and our operatives hold too much value to the Oldenstadt to risk losing them to, to the tides of war. We will repurpose them. Very good. Very, very good. Keep building, my friends. We have three lines of 20 out of 20. That is very nice. Spend. Cut. Who knows? Maybe soon enough we'll have enough uh, money to put down and cut down some of our debt. Even though debt is... Doesn't, it's nothing we don't really concern ourselves with too much. Very good. Oh, and a battleship. Look at that. We actually made another battleship. Very nice. No, that's pretty good, pretty good. Um, No, we're pretty good right there. 33, you can th keep throwing more guys there. Throw, just throw this, these guys there. It's fine. Save the guns for the most part, but whatever. 8888, eight, eight, eight. remission of the sock intern. And taste of victory. Now, fighting a ghost, we could do that. The services of the collaborators are no longer needed. Cool, but we're going to go do unsavory friends next. The aftermath of the Second World War, that Vaterland proved to be the reigning force of the Western civilization. No more was the contention between French and the supposed Enlightenment. Not the Anglos and their attempted grasps at glory, gold, and their uh, god. Now only Aryans proved to be the masters of this domain, however. As with all the Reich has lost, so too did this dominance slip and eventually led to the outbreaks of freedom and autonomy, such as that of the Bretonians. Now, the rats operate as the greatest spread of corruption and black market operations on this hemisphere. However, to say they're completely useless would be an understatement of their abilities in recognizing the entirety of the state. Having operated as a giant illegal marketplace, our newly forged economic infrastructural strength can be connected to this marketplace, allowing our operations to benefit through the routes provided by the Britannians. Of course, any other option would be preferable than working with scum, but the virtuous area must work with what it can, can in this putrid world. Hey, get money eventually too. Nice, not bad. Not that we really needed it, of course, but, you know. Uh, we're building that up, which is very, very nice. Oh, we can do some more stuff down here. A little bit of lag. Good. Some money. Good. So, what what is everything like right now? And by what everything is like, managing the famine, 6,600 every month. Domestic education, pretty good. Industry, Domo Berserk. A small amount in Valon down here. We need more workers in Valon. Uh, that's looking okay. This is looking not too bad. Take out 300. Take out 100. Take out 150. Um, there you go. Not bad. There you go. And stock them full of salt. Of, uh, <clears throat> volunteer workers. Yeah. Totally volunteer workers. There you go, that's a bit too much, but uh, if we do something like that, then, then that's okay. Sure, why not do that too? Ah, everyone else, come to Rodomo. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful. Arm sales, why not? 42 supplies, not bad. Unsavory friends, and then we'll do expanded pipeline. And the echo chambers think tanks revolving around Judeo Bolshevik liberalized intellectuals, one may find regarding words, essays, treaties, and documents to be that which changes the world. To be true sources of power and might in the short lifetime, however, the truly grand Aryan recognizes a separate idea. A truth amidst lies of pacifistic traitors, that being the might of the sword, the weapon that Aryans wield in order to wage war and exterminate the vermin which seeks to stand against the true strength of Germanic society in this idea. Our newly forged partnerships with Illicit marketers and smugglers of all kinds operating throughout Britannian society has allowed ourselves to become into means to truly spread the might of the sword across the world. In this idea, we shall use this pipeline to our benefit and spread arms forged from the Ordenstadt to our operations across the globe, allowing the world to be pushed further and further into conflict. Additionally, we shall find great benefit to the Ordenstadt's economy in doing so, aiding the Reichswehr SS all the while. Very good. Actually, oh, they're complete. Look at that. That's actually kind of cool. It is complete. Errors and enrichment. Despite the skill and ingenuity of the Aryan race, there are still people, and sometimes are prone to flaws. And sometimes those flaws cost millions of Reichsmarks and set projects back by weeks on end. Such s Several such incidents have occurred over the past several weeks, and a uranium enrichment plant in a classified location which saw a cave and kill three workers in its main mine, and another died of acute radiation poisoning when a centrifuge failed and sprayed him with particles of uranium-235. 
Although there are some who would willingly chalk up this to happens, ha happenstance, there are those within the SS who may believe otherwise. The concurrence of these accidents may suggest sabotage may be involved and stricter screening of the labor force will be needed. This is a project that cannot afford delays. Send more men. Due to heightened standards, more guards will be required in order to effectively surveil saints with reactors. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, let's see. We're pretty good there, pretty good there. Anywhere else? I think we're pretty much done with all this stuff. Like, we're out of uranium, which sucks, but it is what it is. Um. Wow, we don't have that many uh, officers, do we? No, we do not. Anything up here. And Rodomo time. Just dump them all off there. That'd be good. Increase intelligence gathering. How are we doing with this stuff? 866. Charlemagne. A secret high society. Look at that. De la Maziere needs to be discovered. Examine the equipment. Let's look into the supply chain then. Good. Good. Jolly good. Supplies not bad. Manpower. Manpower. Supplies. Just throw everything in. At this point, I can't really be bothered. Just throw it all in. Level 9, 8, 8, 8, 33 still. Not bad. Mm, medium counterintelligence against Walloons. Weekly stability goes down. That's not good. Greatly increased officer capacity. I don't know if that's sure if that really gives us anything at all, but you know, it is what it is. Expanded pipeline. Our benevolent help. Oh, unexpected setback. Oh, that sucks. We must try again. The strength of the Oldenstadt. Well, has come from order. The prosperity of the Odenshaw has come from vigilance. Now the growth of the Odenshaw shall come from the per per perseverance. Every day the corruption of our world grows stronger and stronger, finding new ways to prop up fantastical ideals of individualistic autonomy or a concept of a free market to attempt to skew mankind into bending to the will of the Judea Bolshevik. However, we shall turn this constant stream of decadence against itself, as the good goods of the Odenstadt shall spread throughout all the corners of the globe through the Britannian market. To do this, however, we mustn't allow ourselves to believe that we can simply let the system run upon itself, lest we seek to follow down the path of the traitorous Reich. Rather, the heck, the halls of workshops and factories lying to fill to the rats that are subhumans shall further increase production as the concept of 100% increases, fade into the past, and the direction of our economy reaches into destiny. Tapping the well of destruction. Look at that. Oh, look at the reserves. Looking pretty good. Although the factories of the Oldenstadt lie or reach higher levels of production and efficiency every day, its fields produce agricultural surpluses unimaginable by any of our enemies, we seem to have a bit of a shortage of hard currency. This is inconvenient, as it is only with hard cash that our operatives and contacts can carry out their tasks in order to rectify the situation. Our brilliant Reichsführer has expanded our pre-existing relationship with the Balk or black market dealers soon. Burgundian weapons, unidentifiable, untraceable, and deadly, will flow across the world, spreading the chaos and fear to our opponents. In return, we shall have the currency we so desperately require in order to expand our production and global operations even further. Naturally, such brilliance provokes opposition. There have been whispers among the ranks that perhaps we've gone a little bit too far in isolation from the, from the degenerates. That perhaps we should open our borders to at least a few marginal flow of trade to ensure a more reliable flow of cash. That than that produced by our black market contacts. These traders slime are unworthy of anything more than the rack and sh shall soon be dealt with. Others claim that using the Untermensch smugglers as a deviation from true national daddyism and the Burgundian way, well, meaning as their protest might be, we can have no such defiance in our ranks. The Burgundian way is that of the Reichsfeer SS and there can be no other. Let the weapons flow. And continue building, building, building. Build until you collapse. And then build some more. Not bad. We can continue blackmailing, but it doesn't really mean too much. 42, let's do Charlemagne some more then. So this one, we did examine the equipment. Let's get into the supply chain history. And if we have to use up all the supplies, that's fine. 86% is still pretty darn good, so. All right, increase it by how much? I don't want to do this. Let's try it. Let's try it once. Maybe we get to up to 11. Oh, look at this. So, guns on the black market? Uh, $10 million is not really worth it. Zero million dollars? Well, that's not really worth it now, I'd say. Helicopters? Tanks? 70 million is not bad. Expand our workforce, though. Um, expand the camps? We can hold more? Well, 
Oh, yeah, we're done with uranium, so that sucks. Reorganizing French industry. You know what? I want to do this one. Industrial equipment needs to go up higher. Just go ahead and do it. I don't know what the max level is. But better consumer goods would be nice. Successful investigation as anticipated. 34 is not bad. Our benevolent elf. Thank you very much. The fist tightened. Our efforts to invest in our infrastructure has finally borne fruit. Slaves from across the olden shot toil for the master race in our new factories with little respite. The chain gangs have finished construction of the mines in which they now labor in. The dockyards are filled to the brim with our servants, and even now, olden shot arms make their way to Brittany, where supplies are sold, only to sow the seeds of chaos elsewhere in the world. As an added boon, our control over the wider population is total. What little free time the Untermenschen had to themselves is spent eating, sleeping, and then making the journey back to their assigned jobs. Pure Aryans watch their every move at our work camps and facilities. Though by and large, the population is too exhausted just surviving to take up active through the futile resistance against the Stadt. The development of the Olden Stadt is more or less complete. The Alvarek Sphere is pleased with the outcome. More stability, more worth at the end of the beginning. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. We've done very, very well. I would like to maybe extract some precious minerals as well. That'd be kind of nice, so. Let's see if this actually goes up, up beyond 11. That'd be kind of nice. Anything else here we really care about? Not too much. Rodomo's got to keep churning out more stuff, though. Never let up. Ah, stare to us. Shove them in. Good. Anything else here that we really care about? Oh, yes. Uh, you look by one. Put another factory. We could use another factory there. Even though it, it costs us more, uh, I don't mind spending getting a few more factories. Just because, uh, or one more factory. We could still make more stuff. I mean, we could still make more guns, and I like guns. Hope you like guns, too. Actually, we need a few more gold workers. Okay. Supplies? Nice. We just got rid of a thousand more. I love the workers. Well, I don't love them. I love what they can do for us, though. So, guns. Now we're good. 39. Not bad. The fist tightened. The fuel of progress. Oil. What a wondrous substance powering the modern age. All the relentless engines of progress. Oil fuel the tanks that crush Europe beneath their tracks. Heights our barracks. Fuels the cars that roar along the Autobahn. And fuels the trains that carry the degenerates to our camps. But... Burgundy sadly short on it. And with our increasing isolation from the Reich at large, we find ourselves in an ever escalating shortage. The pact in general is having its own problems with oil supply, so we cannot rely on our usual contacts in the black market to fully cover our needs. A solution must be found through the gods of a new age or starved of the sweet nectar of their victory. Very good. Resource extraction actually actually be very nice. And actually, we, we were building another refinery here, so keep building that for now, because we could really, really use some more oil. Okay, let's go next. Why not? Thank you. Is it maxed out? No, it doesn't look maxed out, so. It probably max level is 1, 2, 3, 4, 40? It's probably actually 40. The end of the beginning, which is a pretty fun mod sometimes. Once these lands were green, verdant, and beautiful, they were filled with happy little cottages and peasants living small, peaceful lives free from worry or want. But the luster of slave mortality hid the sinister truth. It was a time of weakness, racial impurity, and the tightening noose of Jewish Bolshevik domination. Their useless hovels and pathetic gardens kept the cowards enshrouded in the ignorance and unknowing of the true potential or the rightful submission to the Aryan race. Now we have shown them that truth. The wasteful vineyards are no more. In the place lie perfectly organized rows of hardy crops. Village workshops have been replaced with massive fortresses of industry where the untermensch toils to eke out some small contribution to the glory of the Aryan and national socialism. The parks and pleasures that were the highest scions of degeneracy have been bulldozed and replaced with worker quarters. What minor resistance these improvements have faced have been obliterated. Now, the people know no future but servitude to the Aryan masters, no state but the Odenstadt, no leader but the Reichsfuhr SS, and no future except for the completion of his grand design. Now the true work begins. And we're still doing well on that stuff, which is good. Domestic education? Don't consider that of any importance. Up here, we're doing pretty well. Oh, 11 still. Eh. And, uh, fuel, the fuel progress. Yes, please, thank you. Investigations, how are we doing? 11, so we gotta wait a little bit, which sucks. More supplies? 46, not bad. I'm not too concerned about all this stuff. If, it, if there's less, you know, stuff here, you know, so be it, whatever. If it hurts just a little bit, I don't really care. Everyone is loyal, as they should be. Hey, it actually did help. 14, not bad. 
Officer capacity increases our monthly officer gain by 25, which doesn't seem like much. Actually, it seems like it went lower than before, but okay, whatever. Um. Ah. Oh, is this one done? Because once this is stuff done, then we can start focusing on just selling everything we've got. How many, What do we have, actually, in supply? 4,700 pieces of artillery. A not a lot of tanks, a lot of infantry equipment, and support equipment's looking okay. We can actually sell some of this infantry equipment then. Oh, never mind, we don't. We need 10,001. Never mind. And I know this is a very long video, it's just because I want to push this ahead of time more and more and more and more, more. But the question for crude, or the quest for crude. History has proven that the fate of the modern state rests upon a tap, that being the tap of crude oil. An open tap hydrates a nation, allowing it to survive until the next day. Should the tap remain shut for too long, however, then the nation will surely struggle in their battle to survive, and no doubly so in their endeavor to thrive. To this rule, the Oldenstadt is no exception. To realize the plans of the Reichsfeer SS, the Oldenstadt must secure for itself the oil tap and ensure that the black crude steadily hydrates our state. However, such a stream must remain steadfast. The odd import or unreliable shipment of oil from abroad will simply not suffice in supplementing the needs of the Oldenstadt. To further the cause of the national socialism, we must immediately look to secure a steady import of oil that will not falter and will not leave us dry when we most require it. It's time to secure the tap, and that's a really cool image. But anyways... Found the Oldenschaffungsbüro. To ensure a steady supply of oil, the WVHA has ordered the formation of an oil acquisition bureau under the Office W. We must immediately organize a crack team of geologists, economists, and diplomats to appraise how to obtain the black gold. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anything here we really care about? Oh, yes, unfortunately. Ah, oh, good. More, more slots are good. Oh, good. Technology is always good for the Oldenstadt. Very good. Workers? Never enough. Oh, we're doing that one as well. We need a little more political power here. Which sucks, but whatever. Oh, and we have some research to do, so that's fine. It is 1971, my friends. Happy New Year. Happy, happy New Year. Investigations 25 is not nearly enough. No more of that stuff. That's fine. Um, honestly, we could probably just close this out for now. I'd like you to do this one, but we can wait. Anything else here? Nope, that's good. And then next up we'll do... Is there anything else? Any other focuses that we can do here? I'd still like to finish this stuff up. Our future secured as well. So, oh, we can still do this stuff, but our food consumption is probably pretty good. Ventilation research? Well, let's do fighting a ghost. However, such a search is never quite over, is it? The whispers of the night, chilling and spine tingling, creeping upon the winds of bloodthirst and murderous intent. The people speak of a ghost, a phantom which crawls on its belly across the dirt of our land, sniffing out the traces of our greatness. There it wanders, following its, its trail until it finds such a source, perhaps an Aryan war hero or statesman. And there it butchers, taking the life and heart of a great man, woman or child, and stealing away into the night, devouring anything left to perhaps leave a trace. Some are horrified by the claims, worried about such monsters roaming across the night. Others, however, remain sickeningly joyful joyful towards the nature of this abomination, happy from its inflictions of foul and horrendous deeds. It is our duty to dispatch this monster for once and for all for the glory of the Oldenstadt. Very good. Now I would like your opinion, everyone. Should we go under the curtain, a small opening in the border, a funnel through the Bretons, pressuring the Nord Sea, Burgundian oil rigs, the Norman pipeline, as well as the blackest of markets, or should we do Synthetische Crust of Production? as well as study the Bergius process. Look into rubber. Integrate the Rodomo facilities. Ooh, that's not bad. Expand our operations, implement rationing, as well as no more generosity. Let me know in the comments below. Going under the curtain versus Synthetisha, Crafts Off Production. Please let me know in the comments below. And I'll read this one to finish out this episode, this long, very long episode. Perhaps the most controversial decision by the SS High Command in the early days of the Oldenstadt was to continue and expand our allied legions of the SS co codenamed Charlemagne, Langemach, and Walloons. These units were populated by the few within the degenerate nations able to demonstrate capabilities and ideological soundness worthy of the title of Aryan, for at the time we had hoped that these collaborating legions would be able to fulfill some of the lower needs of the Oldenstadt, disciplining workers, maintaining order in the conquered territories, and suppressing Protestants to lead the real work to our pure-blooded German shock troops. 
Alas, for it seems that we have gotten all use we can out of these units. Reports from the SD indicate that our allies are infested with plots of betrayal and sabotage and may soon rebel altogether. The time has come to liquidate these fools, degenerates who never should have been raised as high as true Aryans. However, we must move carefully. We dare not attack the collaborators all at once. To do so might cause a full-scale civil war. The first step is to lay the groundwork for further action by weakening logistic supply chains and readiness of our for foes by covert action. Soon this obstacle will be dealt with, and the long march of the Aryan towards triumph can continue. Services of collaborators will no longer be needed. Good. Rodomo. Joachim Piper. Hemler's most trusted aide was not at all surprised to find who else was waiting for him in the Reichsführer's stony office at the castle. Heinrich Müller was the most senior intelligence director in the Oldenstadt, while Karl Wolf was the head of the Reichsführer as uh, Reichsführer's personal staff. The trio met there often for the most serious briefings, and as usual, all eyes were on the fourth person in the room, the Reichsführer himself. Papa, you joined us at last, and I had I known I would need you here so soon again, I would not have you left. Had you leave for Paris? You know I always rush to your side. All right, Sphere, what is the matter you are discussing? As I was just informing your colleagues, I've recently reviewed the reports of industrial thefts at the Rodomo Industrial Park. Something is afoot there. Thefts? Pretty regular occurrence. Do we think it is just disobedient workers wanting to resell some to the Bretons, or could the resistance be involved? The Reichsfeer's brow furrowed, something Piper had not seen in many years of his generally stoic expression of, of a sort. Why don't you tell him, Miriam? The RHSA chief cleared his throat. The Reichsfeer has correctly identified something we have overlooked. The thefts happen at a much greater intensity when guards from the native legions are present. Not to mention industrial accidents, deaths from falling material, vehicles breaking down, slaves escaping... Pepper took a seat. Curious indeed, could they really be trying to challenge our authority? If they are, I am sure that many of our men would find it most amusing to face a well-trained and prepared foe again, not f for the rabble of the French state or the rioting slaves. The Reichsfuhrer remarked, his feral brow relaxing and turned to a hint of a pleased expression. So I want you and Wolf to take charge of an organizing and investigative team pipe-up. If these rats are really in our stores, you will smoke them out. Leave no stone unturned. We get stability. What's the part? What's not the love? Oh, and we can supply these guys once again. Very, very good. Nice, 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 nice. Very good. Level 39. I think the next level is 10, but we shall see. Probably in the next episode, in which... Ooh, food balance is not looking good. Domestic education does not matter, and Industrial Rodomo is not looking too bad. Anything else we need to discuss before we leave for today? Well, I'll do this puff off-screen, but no, it does not look like. So, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, as we shall continue to destroy degenerates, and have a good time doing so. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.